all right so this is the CAD drawing of uh, the ventilator I was working on so let's get it to it so this is the cylinder and uh, the diameter of this cylinder is uh, 9.6 centimeter the the radius would be 4.8 and uh, then you have the the wheel uh, which will be powered by the motor I'm not showing motor here uh, and uh, this is the uh, revolving rod and this is the stationary rod right here and this is a piston and uh, obviously this is the base and this is the cardboard um, uh, uh, on which uh, this whole assembly has uh, been set and uh, you can see I already ha also have shown oxygen cylinder here through which uh, uh, I, I haven't shown valves and pressure gauges here to simplify this drawing but uh, you can imagine the uh, pressure causes uh, will be uh, one would be here one would be here and the walls would be here so yeah that we have discussed more in detail so, now, so right now I'm just going to tell you about the working of this uh, assembly let me hide uh, some stuff so that uh, it will make it easier for for you to understand uh, let me hide all that okay let me hide the tubes also so so what we have basically and let me hide the the base as well okay cool so what we basically have is a um, revolving uh, machinery so what happens is when this wheel turns and uh, the displacement which you will have will be approximately this this would be your uh, uh, displacement of the piston as it will move from this, let me do it, as it will move from here uh, to here so this will be the displacement of the gases which will be pi r square h and the force with it will move will uh, you will able to control the uh, pressure of it the rotation it will have you will able to uh, re revolution per minute you will able to control the respiratory rate so it's simple uh, however um, i haven't have drawn um, the rings on the piston here uh, to keep the drawing simplified you can make the rubber um, notches around the piston so that uh, no air will be able to escape and uh, I have also had shown the uh, tubings which will go here uh, the expiratory valve and expiratory tubing is not shown here uh, which uh, yeah I forgot to add that actually so anyway so so this is the my CAD drawing uh, I was actually trying to find some engineer or some mechanical engineer to <laughs> able to draw this and make this but somehow because of this lockdown our country is in lockdown and no none of my friend uh, was available uh, to make this and so I had to learn it myself and do it it was a quite an amazing experience uh, I'm using AutoCAD Fusion 360 uh, student edition and uh, it, it, it has been an um, awesome experience to learn and uh, uh, you know to read about ventilators and stuffs and I hope this works um, there are uh, some problems which I haven't able to solve and if anyone has uh, some input regarding I would uh, be very happy uh, to receive them one problem is the pressure uh, this piston will produce so uh, basically whatever displacement uh, this thing is going to make is uh, going to make a tidal volume of approximately 500 ml but the problem here is uh, the drawing which I was coming up previously the 12 rotation per minute the the amount of volume which I uh, which which this assembly is generating per minute is just uh, six liter per minute 
but as I was reading the ventilator guidelines, the flow rate should be 60 uh, liter per minute. So uh, I was wondering maybe there is a Bernoulli principle going on here that this outlet will have a more uh, velocity compared to uh, what uh, the cylinder have here. But however, even the velocity of this outlet may be more uh, the volume would remain the same because the conservation of volume obviously but would it uh, increase would it impact on the pressure obviously the pressure here will be more but uh, without uh, having some pressure gauge uh, it will be difficult for me to imagine what actually is the flow rate for this patient so two questions I have is how much should be the flow rate and I've been reading many articles they say from 60 to 120 liter per minute but this assembly is likely to generate a lesser volume lesser flow rate not volume flow rate so will it be okay uh, I don't know uh, is there any evidence out there that the lower volume uh, may work uh, other thing is uh, which I want to know is whether uh, the pressure the person is going to receive uh, where we are going to measure it is it at the trachea is it just at the inspiration you know, where the patient is going to inspire because uh, these ventilators if supposed to get mass produced we need to um, you know carefully uh, allot our resources and we cannot have pressure gauges uh, or barometers everywhere in this machine unlike uh, the commercial ventilators out there which costs a hell lot of a hell lot and have a lot of resources uh, you need to have a lot of resources so so yeah those are my two questions uh, yeah that's actually those are the only two questions I have right now uh, so yeah uh, if anyone has this um, input regarding these two regarding the flow rate regarding uh, how to do with uh, where should the pressure barometer should be please uh, email me and uh, if someone does work with this out and make it into an operational thing because this is getting difficult for me to arrange all this hardware because india is in lockdown so obviously i'm not able to find any hardware around and also, uh, I'm hearing internet might be shut down. I don't know whether it's a rumor or actual news. Uh, so if if that happens, then I won't be able to get through you uh, for a week or two. And that will be very unfortunate, obviously. And also, I will be damn bored. So, anyway, so these are the things I wanted to tell you. And uh, I hope someone makes it then I hope I'm able to make it I don't know how how am I going to do it because I'm not finding any anything actually <laughs> it's so damn difficult to find anything when country is in lockdown so anyway it's kind of like a conundrum isn't it like yeah so okay so um, take care and um, uh, please let me know uh, if you have some inputs. Cool. So I'll just uh, show you the workings uh, in the different modes. So yeah, yeah, that would be awesome if I'm able to do that. Okay. So right, let me just move it. Oh, why it's not moving? I need to select it first. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I need to select it first. It's moving into two different directions. Okay, cool. Okay, so you under you get it the idea behind it. So yeah, I will uh, you know make it much better and animate it somehow and uh, make it look more cooler. Uh, till the time, uh, take care and uh, please try to do social uh, distancing. And I know it's uh, kind of ironical because because of social dis di network uh, distancing, things like these also are difficult to make, and we need ventilators and other stuffs. At the same time, we need to social distance, so it's kind of like a yeah.
maybe just we need to take chances out there and uh, take risks uh, to able to get uh, things like this done. Um, okay, take care.